thank y'all for tuning in today to my video. This is regarding a European sister, a sister from Switzerland, a sister who uh, has a mind of her own, one that knows how to do research and to, to, to search into matters regarding her health, regarding what she wants to take into her own body, what she wants to be equipped. She wants to have knowledge. She wants to be informed. So she did research on the side effects regarding a health product. And she posted she posted the side effects on WhatsApp. Now, that was her business to do so. It, it was her prerogative. If she wants to post something regarding a health product, on her social media now when you look at the different institutions such as the CDC World Health Organization FDA they always post things regarding um, uh, uh, any type of health product they always post the side effects now isn't it true when you watch commercials and they're talking about a medication they always talk about, they always mention the side effects of a pub, of a medication that they come out with. So there's nothing wrong with that. It's not against the law to post something, to post side effects of a medication or health product. Well, this Switzerland sister, a Jehovah's Witness, she did that. And let me tell you what happened. I'm going to read to you what happened because somebody commented under my video they uh, uh, expressed how disgusting it was that this Switzerland Jehovah's Witness was this fellowship because she posted uh, side effects regarding a health product. Now check it out. Notice this right here. And I'm going to read it word for word. It says, my final wake up call was when they advertised the health product. Speaking of they, the governing body. I found a group of Jehovah's Witnesses, JWs, that had the same mindset as me when it came to that health product. One of our sisters from Switzerland, one of our sisters from Switzerland was disfellowshipped for advertising the side effects of the products on her personal WhatsApp. Since the mistreatment of Margaret, age 74, by narrow-minded Swiss elders, we as a group started a massive research into what we now know to be a cult, that is Jehovah's Witnesses. I am happy to report that more than 10 of us have disassociated. <laughs> These Swiss elders... So you mean to tell me you're going to disfellowship someone because they mentioned the side effects of this health product? Let me tell you where this came from. These elders were actually puppets of the governing body because the governing body are part of the globalist. They are part of the globalist. The elders were tools or instruments of the governing body. That's all I have to tell you. Thank you, Swiss brothers, from getting out of there. Thank you for not supporting these criminals. These Thank you, Swiss brothers, for not supporting this cult anymore. You got a mind on its own. Thank you. In fact, as many of us as this, uh, uh, in fact, what's coming to light is this. When you get this fellowship, it turns out to be a blessing. It turns out to be a blessing. So thank you, brothers, so much. Thanks for sharing that information. And that person who was disfellowshipped because they want to provide some, some valuable information to the public. Thank you for doing that. You did the right thing. You made the right choice. 
keep up the good work. Two thumbs up. If I had three hands, three thumbs, I'd give you three thumbs up. Thank you. Enjoy this evening. Enjoy life. Take care. Comment, share, like, subscribe, and y'all have a great evening.